Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Um, the guy in the vehicle doesn't want to necessarily show you show me his face, but I want to show you what this machine is right here. This is a license plate reader, and it's activated. He's sitting in this location right here, so he can see what's coming and what's going. Now I don't know if you knew in Arkansas. They already had a controversy about them, but here, this is Missouri. So what they're doing is, they're testing them out evidently because they got them, now they're just putting them right out in public where people can see them. You can see the, and I asked them, I said, uh, what are you doing here? Paperwork. But he can tell every license plate that goes by what it is. So there's four cameras mounted on the car for the license plate reader system? It's pretty good as far as getting the correct plates. What they do is they take a picture of the license plate and then it basically queries the registered owner of the license plate. And then I have other cars. I'm one of the chase vehicles. Positioned either in front or behind me. I'm gonna set up a little bit east of him. They'll attempt to locate the cars that I call out. Eastbound, I got a gray Acura. It's that one right there that just passed us. Stop the car. Do you have your driver's license, registration, insurance? Can I see that, please? Thank you. Verify the information, make sure the plate matches the car. Basically run their own records check on the driver and the car. The license plate reader went off on it and said it was a driver's license restraint. So it looks like on here, so it's, she has a suspended driver's license. There's a phone number on here for DMV, so we'll give her uh, a ticket for the suspended driver's license, okay? All right, thank you All right, hope you have a good night, okay? Westbound, I got a silver Mercedes. 81 Edward in service on an arrest. I can be on any screen on the computer, and if it hits on a license plate, it'll pop up. It's a pretty successful system. It's pretty easy to use. It can just kind of run in the background while we're doing other stuff. It looks like your, your driver's license was canceled. Were you aware of that? Eastbound, I have a white Oldsmobile sedan. We found suspects with misdemeanor and felony warrants. We found hit and run suspects. Do you have the registration and insurance as well? A lot of people with revoked driver's license, habitual traffic offenders. She has an unpaid ticket from Denver police. Uh, in 2014, so they canceled her driver's license. And I suspect she knows that because she said she just got a ticket a few days ago. So this is going to be your ticket for driving without a license. The majority of them are those driver's license restraints. So it's obviously an issue that, that we have out here. Eastbound stopped at the red light at Pecos. I got a white Ford Explorer. This is Dabu 7. I've talked about this several different times when it comes to different police departments different technology that they're trying to use out here and this newest bit of technology is going unnoticed by most people these are small digital infrared cameras that can record car license plate numbers and then log that data for tracking anyone out there that may have a warrant suspended license stolen vehicles now of course this latest crime-fighting tool comes with little to no regulation for invasion of privacy. Now, they state that what is known about this is that they can drive around, they can go through a crime-ridden area, and that this camera picks up 360 all the way around. And to give you an idea of the power of this technology that is called the Data Driver Approach to Crime and Traffic Safety, or DDACT. S, or it's DDAX is what they call it. Within the space of two months, Denver police vacuumed up 835,000 license plate images, leading to 17,000 hits for warrants, stolen vehicles, and other things that they were looking for, people that they were looking for. Now, they have all this being tracked on a laptop with real-time GPS inside the vehicle that is updated to federal networks and state databases every four hours. So when they're going through these areas, they can pick up all this information. It's sent back. If they get a hit, well, they know that just not long ago, whatever area that, that they cruise through, there's something there. So just wanted to make everyone aware of this new technology that they're using it specifically in Denver. I'll leave a link with more info. It's been Dabu 7.